What up, young world? I'm Great Scott. Rise and grind, Brandon. Good vibes. Flo King. We are PM Positive Mobility. What is positive mobility and when did it start? Um, it started a long time ago. We used to do music when we was um, out in Kansas. Yeah. Um, we had a little um, group that we was with pound for pound and we was doing music. This was like 2002, 2000, around that time we was out in um, Fort Riley, Kansas. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but um, the whole positive uh, mobility uh, movement came about a couple of years ago, man. It's just so much going on in, um, in our community and going on in society, man, to we don't get enough positivity, man, and enough people don't smile, man. And um, now we have the COVID and everyone have these masks on, so you can't even see a smile, man. So when you do get one, you know, appreciate it, man. So where are you from and how did music make a difference in your life growing up? Man, um, Gainesville, Florida. Um, just uh, spending some time in New York in the streets, um, in the Bronx up there, learning about some of the arts and craft on the streets there, man, and um, in the 80s. And then um, just being here in Gainesville where there was no hip hop and wanted to express our culture, man, in a different way. So um, I always kind of been into a hip hop movement and a movement that was not here in Gainesville, Florida. Okay. Uh, I'm from here, right here in the swamp, Gainesville. Uh, love it. Uh, music was always in my family. You know, it's, it's a part of my family. Um, you know, coming up, growing, you know, having to go to church and stuff, and you know, different stuff like that. And then as I got older, you know, I kind of got into some, some some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it all cultured me. You know what I mean to <clears throat> to who I am today. So uh, yeah, uh, music. Like I said, it's it's just in me. It's a part of me. You know, it's a part of us. Who or what inspired you into the music industry? <sighs> my mom, my uh, my dad. Uh, my dad used to play trumpet uh, in high school and. He sang in different choirs, and my mom, she she actually made a couple of albums, gospel albums, and she sung at you know different things, events, and different places and stuff. And pretty pretty known around here for singing in Gainesville and other places. But uh, yeah, kind of came from that, and then uh, just loving music, you know, loving not just singing, loving rap, loving poetry, loving you know just that whole culture. Great. Um, man, just young, um, growing up, and when uh, hip hop started, and um, you heard the first sounds, African Mbada, man, you heard Run DMC, you know, man, and um, some of these. Bob Marley was like my biggest. Um, I even named my daughter Marley. Um, Bob Marley was like one of my biggest uh, inspirations. Um, because of the, the, the essence of the culture and the righteousness that he spoke with in his music, man. That, that's what kind of led me into that genre of delivery um, and wanting to just express myself in that way, in a righteous way. What type of music do you preferably produce? Um, like produce? I would say spoken word, um, spoken word, a little poetry, um, definitely, um, definitely hip hop, you know, on a conscious level. Um, I can't, I ain't gonna say I'm gonna deviate from that. <laughs> and you, Flo, what's one you like specifically, uh, genre of music that you like to produce the most? Well, to be honest with you, um, you know, you know, everybody think different, you know. I like uh, all genres of music, actually, from country to gospel to rap to, to R&B to rap to everything. But um, uh, I consider, like, the stuff that we do is it's more so um, music that incites an awareness, you 
you know, it uh it causes action. We don't just, you know, it's not just music that that sounds good when you're listening to it, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it's something that's gonna get you to think and cause a response, you know, from you. You know, we hope that it's a positive one, because that's all we kicking, right? That's right. <laughs> That's all we can. That's real right there. Right. Are you guys signed to uh, any labels or are you guys uh, independent? Definitely independent. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, we got all our copyrights, man. I own everything, man. So, um, you know, no disrespect to the big labels out there, man. But, um, you know, I'm going to keep my pants on. Right. Have you guys worked with any mainstream artists or producers uh, in the industry? I can't say that any have had the opportunity to meet me yet. Word, word. That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, nah, not, not myself. I mean, uh, actually, uh, with all due respect, you know, to, to them in their places and stuff, um, I feel like I got my own purpose. 